Mission. You win. Off your bed. Uh, in real life, or <laughs> no, you were just making a point. I was just making a point, uh, if that would happen. <laughs> well, I'm the idiot now. No, you, you never the idiot. Trust me when I say you're not. <laughs> I don't know. I've done some pretty dumb shit in my life. Same. <laughs> Let me check my email. All right, go ahead. Oh boy, I got a new one from Discord. Crap. Nice. Discord's pretty good to get an email from. I I'm I'm a part of three conversations. I'm just like, oh my gosh, people. <laughs> <laughs> You're famous There's now. Four. What? You're famous. Yes. I do get random invites from people I don't know, and I'm just like, Hell no. <laughs> to the no, no. <laughs> Hell no to the no, no. I was laughing at my own um, script for a second there. It's like, it's like, doesn't the atmosphere lighter whenever Jordan's li whenever Jordan leaves? We should hang out with him anymore. Me. Mm -hmm. My brother just hey, came. you're so Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My brother just came out of the bathroom, so I'm going to go take a quick leak, and I will be back as soon as possible. I, It's recording, by the way, so don't say anything bad. You're on recording YouTube. this right now. Yeah, don't say anything bad on YouTube. Okay. Or else, you know. Okay. Woo! Common mistake. You shouldn't have left me here. Just kidding, you should have. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I might do something stupid. I lick cornflakes off the floor. I'm just randomly saying that. Of course I don't lick cornflakes off the floor. If I would have done that, I would have been a fox person. Fox peeps. I'm not okay. Common mistake. All right, I'm back. What what bad thing did you say about YouTube this time? <laughs> say anything bad? Yeah, YouTube. I did say I like cornflakes off the floor. And I said I, that's not true. I don't do that. <laughs> no, you're I said an Irish shack. I said it like this. I like cornflakes off the floor. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> wait, wait, I want to quote I don't Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey. Hey. If you ever go on my Twitter and you see all the shit people like, draw me an icon and I'm just like I have I have a real life. <laughs> Why you do this? <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the. Main. I have a job to do. What? I have school and a job to do. The, yeah. yeah. And I also got a podcast to do that I'm not doing the fancy drawing, but I don't make any peeps math, so. <laughs> no, they'll understand this podcast. After this, I just like, oh. <laughs> like after this, I'm just like rush to the desk. Okay, I need to draw this shit right now. <laughs> Let's go full drawing mode. Got two pencils. Forget what I'm drawing. Wait. Yeah. It's like, wait, what am I drawing again? Looks on Twitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you really that forgetful? That's like, me. Do you forget, like, yeah. more often? Yeah, forgetful. Actually, this is a true story. One time I woke up and I forgot my own name. How can you... For real. How, how do you forget your own name? Like, did, did, did it happen just know. like a... Uh, no, I woke up. And I'm just like, wait, what's my name? And I'm like... It took me about 10 minutes for me to figure that out. <laughs> for real. This is so real. So it's just like. It took you 10 I'm minutes a, to figure out that your I'm name was now. Beulah. Yes. I'm a dumbass. Good <laughs> job. I get a cookie for not completing life as we know it. You get a cookie. Barry, put up a cookie on screen right now. There you go. It, it's so weird now that I'm like saying, hey, Barry, put this on the screen. And like, it, it doesn't happen now, but it happens later. And it's so weird sometimes because I, I go, I go like, 
I gotta remember that. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm gonna edit this podcast the day after we record it, because uh, right now it is 8:25 here, so I gotta get up for work tomorrow, and it's, I don't know. I gotta record the podcast afterwards, so that's I gotta just remember that. When are you gonna upload this? <laughs> probably tomorrow i mean a podcast isn't really that hard to edit so it's the rendering that's the problem i don't edit my videos on youtube i just like leave it as it is i'm like you know if people are gonna get mad at me because it's really bad written i don't give a shit oh dude i love editing my videos i fucking i do this shit almost every fucking day i don't have time (laughs) no it's fine like some people i was actually gonna think about you I was actually going to think about asking you to edit my videos. I'm just like, no, he has more important stuff to do and waste my time on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could probably edit one of your videos. I mean, if you're trying to do something, I could probably edit one of them. I'm not really that busy as I check my schedule. Uh, I'm not really that busy for this that busy. month. Looks on schedule. Never mind, I am that busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. I got the full full schedule. No, can't do this. There could be a ghost aggressively breakdancing behind you right now, and you have no idea. Where? It's a ghost. You can't see him. Shit. You're right. <laughs> it's probably doing the jig as we're talking right now. <laughs> probably is. Probably doing some jazz hands. <laughs> Here's the most important, like, if you ever break up or ever ha- had a breakup, you should have said this, and you need to say this. There are are approximately one one um uh, yeah one million ten thousand three hundred words in the English language, but I can never string enough from I can never string enough of them together to probably express you <laughs> express how much I want to hit you with the chair. Damn. I Ho- fucked that up. Hopefully, I don't break up in the future. Hopefully, I I hope. Me neither. I hope. I already told you. <laughs> I actually did remember I'm like I don't know what I should do with my life anymore I don't know what I should do with my life after I'm done with school here like I, I want to go I want to go to the good old good old Netherlands but it's just you know it, you're so used to staying in one place then you go to like a very completely different place because the good old Netherlands is way more different than Aruba Tell me about it, because, like, after Thanksgiving plan, I don't mean Lander plan on moving to uh, Los Angeles, so. There's that. You want me to tell you, like, uh, how Aruba is, or do you want me to tell you, like, what the process is to move to the good old Netherlands? Um, what's the process? <laughs> All right, so. Here's the process. We got to get story time with uh, with Keyshawn. Story time right now. The process is basically you need to finish school, but you need to plan it advance. So let's say you do finish school and you need to basically find yourself an apartment or a studio or a house <laughs> in the good old Netherlands and you need to find it and figure out... What? I have a question. Yes. In the Netherlands, do they lick cornflakes off the floor? <laughs> I like to move there if they do. Do they, do they lick what? Do they lick cornflakes off the floor? Because if they do, I want to live there. Why cornflakes out of all? Uh, wh- why? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> A very good one. It's a pretty good one. I can't answer it. Damn, you're right. <laughs> well, I've never been to Netherlands. That's the, um, Netherlands. Sorry. Oh, my f- fucking Dutch accent is getting over. Oh. I like cornflakes off the floor. Do you like Do you like cornflakes off the floor? Maybe. Oh. Throw myself in the bottom of the spot forever. If If they were Oreos, I would done. I would do it. Like Oreos are so <laughs> fucking delicious. I know, right? What's your favorite? I remember buying a packet of Oreos from Walmart actually two weeks ago. I remember that. And it was a mystery flavor. And if we guessed it, we could uh, post it up on Oreo.com. And if we got it right, we could uh, win about like $1,000. Oh, 
a thousand dollars just to get a guess a fucking Oreo flavor. If it was original Oreo and we said vanilla, that would be like the easiest. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your favorite flavor of Oreo? Mint. Mint. Ooh. Or the either the original or the mint. Ooh. I uh, a flavor I want to try and I've always wanted to try, but I, I am hesitant because I it may suck. Was the uh, they have a mocha? Way it tastes like coffee. Which one? There's a mocha flavor that tastes like coffee. Oh, that really? one's good. Oh really? I would have never expected a coffee flavored uh, sweet to taste like coffee. Never. I know, right? That. Yeah. Sofers stuff th- uh, today in the middle of school, and. It was sweet potatoes with bourbon steak, and the sweet potatoes had chipotle in it, and I had to drink two root beers just to get the flavor out of my tongue. Ooh. Was it uh, was it spicy or was it delectable? Did 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 it get the? It was good. It was just spicy. God. <laughs> See, that's the pleasure you guys sweet. have. You guys can taste different foods. We have literally fast food, uh, culture food. And that's it. Oh, you have cornflakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have cornflakes. We are not fucking isolated from society where we don't have cornflakes, Beulah. Oh, <laughs> you guys like them off the floor? No, we're not savages like the fucking Dutch. <laughs> I'm a savage. <laughs> but you're not Dutch. I'm actually not. I want to lick cornflakes off the floor. That's on my bucket list. I need to write that down. <laughs> so, you, so your bucket list. So your bucket list is to lick cornflakes. Just, just regular ass cornflakes, not the special K cornflakes, off of the, <laughs> off of the fucking ground. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> Hash, hashtag goals, right there. That and to grow a pair of wings so I can fly away. Sounds awesome. What would be what what would be your favorite ability to have? So like a, a superpower. Oh, to fly. Really? I'd be, hey, I just want to fly. I'd be invisible. I've always. That's a good. That's a good part. <laughs> no, but here's the thing: I would not use it for good. I would use it for my own purposes. And when I was in middle school. Yeah, middle school. I wanted to be invisible for for two, for two reasons that any middle schooler would want to be invisible. Can you guess what they are? I can guess one. The other one, don't. All right. So one was to play pranks on my teachers, and the other one. That's not the one I guess. What was the other one? I think we're thinking the same thing, but you know, just go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. My viewers know what it is. Barry, you can put it on the screen right now. <laughs> um. Jesus, take me now. What? Jesus, take me now. He can't take you. Shit. Jesus failed again. Just failed. You failed, you failed Jesus, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> you had one job, is not to fail Jesus in this lifetime. I'm sure everyone in the world has failed Jesus, because we all sin, so. Hmm, it's true. Pretty much true. <laughs> Alright, so, I, we've been, yeah, we've been talking for 15 minutes. You wanna, you wanna start ahead? What do you mean? So like, you want to start up uh, talking about video game news? Because I really don't want to go into political news or stuff like that. Because, you know, I don't want uh, People are going to curse me out when they watch this. And I post it on Twitter. People are like, why are you bringing up political shit? I'm like, I'm sorry. It's... Well, I was going to do this. But I'm actually considering doing it again. Um, If you guys follow me on Twitter, and I know this person does... Um, you guys know that I, um, have a web series, 
and I recorded some um, voice acting. So I'd love it if you guys got to have like this short, like thirty seconds of it. Are you okay with that? I am totally okay with that. I have no power in this. This is the. It's not like it's my podcast or my channel. So you can go ahead. I can cut this out for all you. (laughs) All right, go ahead. I will stay quiet for thirty seconds. My rainbow eye laser just to to kill Billy from gym class. After that, he he right report. He didn't report me, but I left the academy anyway because school is for squares. This is me flipping to a random. My life is over. I don't think they heard that. Can you play it again? Gym class. Are you okay? I am okay. <laughs> I'm okay. It's not that. But. Bueller, you literally do whatever the fuck you want on my podcast. Yeah, I would let the guest have like full authority and basically just have. <laughs> A full range of basically what they can do on my podcast, as long as it does not involve me getting in trouble on YouTube. So true. Yeah. So, since you're the guest, uh, do you want to start off with your week? Because that's usually what we do on the podcast. Usually we start off with the week and then we go into the news. So, if you want, you can start up with that. Okay. So, do I start from last week since the week's not technically over, just began? Uh, yeah, start it from last week if you want. A- any highlights from okay. your week, you can say. So, last Monday, I do school. So, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, I do school. You did it? Thursday, I go shopping for shit. And Friday and Saturday, I do work. And Sunday, I just chill. But let's start off with the details if I can remember anything. Because I have really bad memory. You and me both. Because I'm Dory, apparently. Apparently, I'm Dory. Uh, I consider myself the squid. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Dun 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 um, dun dun dun. No, no. Last night, my brother came over and he changed his um. You know, whenever you call somebody and it like, like it has like a ringtone says, "Leave a message after the beat." Well, guess what he did? He used a Jeopardy theme song as a stupid ring. <laughs> That's pretty so when good. I, I called him and answered, and I was freaking out. I'm like, Joshua Brandon Bonnet, I will kill you. <laughs> there, uh, a similar thing happened to us uh, in the uh, when I worked. Uh, 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 a coworker of mine uh, was going to call a patient. And he called this patient up and he was like, hello, sir, and hung the phone, uh, uh, hanged up like immediately. And I was like, what are you doing? You were calling a patient. And he said, no, I was calling a voicemail because the voicemail answered, yes, hello. And then that was the voicemail. Nothing else. (laughs) My voicemail is Attack on Titan theme song. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. My. I remember landing call, and actually, you're going to laugh probably at this. So he was downstairs, and he wanted to call me because apparently my door wasn't opening. So I said I unlocked it, and we didn't know what was technically wrong, but that wasn't the point. So he called me, and I did answer because I was in my room. Um, and I left my phone in the, like, I don't know what you call that. I live in a small apartment. Like, there's a kitchen and a living room in the exact same room. Um in the living area. <laughs> so I didn't answer and it went to the voice box thing and it had the Attack on Titan theme song and Landon, you can just hear him scream. He's like, Dilla! I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> he lives on the he lives on the second floor and I live on top of him, like exactly on top of him. I'm just like Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> We had to get called off because you screamed. Oh, that's a no-no. You can't scream. (laughs) I like the way you said that. Oh, that's a (laughs) no-no. Oh, it's a (laughs) no-no. 
<laughs> okay, so what happened to you this week? All right, so this week was filled with me going to work and back home, except for one thing that happened to me that I was not expecting, but apparently it was Christmas magic. Is that what you Americans say, I think? No. <laughs> Christmas spirit. There what are you go. talking that was, about? I don't know. I was thinking about magic. I don't know. Christmas magic. It's not like you're talking, talking about crystal meth. <laughs> Well, to be quite honest, it happened and I didn't believe it. So that's kind of kind of like crystal meth, kind of the effect that it gives. My family, my mom, bursts into my room and was like, get your fucking jackets on. We're going to go watch a fucking movie. And in my mind, I was like, we have never watched a movie as a family since forever. And we went and watched... Uh, me and my whole family, my whole family, like uh, me, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, we all watched Daddy's Home 2. Daggy? D- no, I Daddy said, Home? Daddy's Home 2? I didn't say Daggy. I said Daddy. Okay. Hold on real quick. All right. Let me get something real quick. All right. The podcast will return as soon as Beulah comes back. I will be your host. Welcome to... The Gentleman's Podcast, where I do very silly accents. Since you asked me if I did any stu- anything stupid, did you do anything and that's stupid? that's basically what happened. Oh, sorry. The podcast is over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, what happened? What did you ask? Oh, my God. Oh, I thought you were just, like, messing with me, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Julia, it's only been 22 minutes. The podcast, I don't think... Any podcast oh. 22 minutes long. Oh, you're right. Fuck. <laughs> reacting gets, gets right in there. <laughs> what was the question you had for me? You had a question. What was, what was it? Uh, you're talking about the movie, about your family seeing a movie, and you said Dackies. I thought you swear you said Dackies, and I said Daddy's Home, you mean? I, 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 I meant Daddy's Home, so I'm sorry if, like, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just came back from the dentist, so my, my gums are, like, fucking... Ugh. Tell me about it. I have a dentist appointment, like, every year. Or like, once a year. I have it every... It's just, like... I have it, like, twice a year. Every so what? Like, ugh. Oh, of course. Well, well, I mean, I don't know. You're not, you're older than me. <laughs> I'm older than you, but I don't think I'm taller than you. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like is tall. five foot seven. She is taller than a giraffe. <laughs> I'm sorry. How tall are you, actually? I forgot. This is a really weird question to ask. I, what? How tall are you? I forgot. You know, like a smart person. Yeah, a smart person always forgets the most important details. About the human body, which I hate studying science because it's disgusting. Well, that's basically what I'm studying right now, the human body, so I'm... I mean, it's disgusting too, am I right, guys? All right, so uh, wh- where's my story? Oh, yeah, we were watching Daddy's Home 2, and this is the first time as a family we went to watch it. Now, we've watched the first yeah. fa- uh, Daddy's Home, and uh, we didn't watch it as a family. We watched it uh, apart. Me and my brother and my sister watched it, and then my mom and dad as like a date night for them. So we went and watched this movie for the first time uh, as a family, and we were in the cinemas, right? And I don't know yeah. why. But my dad likes to wear khaki shorts to the cinemas. Why? So, like, uh, he was sitting there with his legs crossed, by the way, but, you know, not <laughs> crossed like a lady's, but, like, crossed like a man's. Like, you know, you put one leg on top of the other. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And he was there just talking to my mom about uh, uh, fucking sports. And I was like... No, but we're watching a movie. What is going on? Exactly. What is going on in this world? Exactly. So we were watching the movie and, you know, the movie started and we were watching a bunch of trailers. Now, I've seen the trailers before and I know what's uh, what's about them. I've uh, In the trailers, there was Geostorm, 
uh, Thor Ragnarok, I'll, and I go see that. Which one? Thor Ragnarok. I'm, I'm a big Marvel fan. Yeah, me, me, and a couple of friends were gonna watch it Sunday, but uh, that didn't happen. Um, so yeah. All right. Continue your story. I want to hear hear about your mom talking to sports in the middle of the movie theater, like one of those fucking weirdos. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I think your mom's what? I'm pretty sure your mom's lovely. Oh yeah, she's lovely. She's basically me, but older and not into like video games. But she knows what they are. So yeah. Does she like anime? Uh, no, that's my dad. Your dad's awesome. Yeah, but my dad likes old anime. He doesn't know about, like, new age anime nowadays. Uh, same. I like One Punch Man and Attack on Titan. I like some old animes. I'm, why don't they bring back the Netflix series uh, Little Witch Academy? They did. They did? Yeah, don't you know there's, like, uh, two seasons? I think there's two seasons. Oh, I already watched two seasons. I mean, like, three seasons. I wish they'll bring it back. Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably because the company itself, uh, Trigger, may, may be short on, like, staff. So I guess that's why. It was a good show. <laughs> you're, you're talking like the show is over. It's, it's never over. It's in, it's in my heart. It's my favorite show. <laughs> it's like, you're the way you're talking about the show's in my heart. It's like, really? Yes. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I will murder anyone who says this show is bad. This show is really good. I love all anime. Well, not all anime. I mean, most anime. Some anime is just plain weird. <laughs> you may, you may say anime was a mistake. No, anime is never a mistake. No, I was quoting a, a meme from uh, from. Whoever um, made that meme should perish. The grand, the fucking father of anime made that meme. I don't, I don't know why you're saying that. <laughs> Why would he say such a thing? That's his grandchildren. He said that because, like, uh, most anime nowadays are just moe dribble. So, and, and I, I agree somewhat, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. But it's good moe dribble. All anime deserves a place in this world, but when they fail the first time, they should be thrown out the garbage. All anime except for Sword Art Online. I'm just gonna throw that out here. I hate Sword Art Online. I'm just gonna just throw that out there. <laughs> And that, but I thought you liked that. I'm like, don't upset him. I was about to say that. I'm like, Sword Art Online? Yes. Oh, fuck no. I hate that shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I, re- I remember my girlfriend. Um, she asked me if I wanted to watch Sword Art Online. And I just said, no. You, you love me. Don't know. Why would you say that? <laughs> what? Oh, you, you didn't hear that? No, I'm confused. Oh. Oh. Alright, so basically what happened was my girlfriend would often, as a joke, would say, Would you like to watch Sword Art Online with me? And Usually I would say no. I would say no immediately. But she would often say, would you like to watch Sword Art Online with me and make out? And this is where I go, you fucking, you, you fucking bitch. Because I can't say no to her after that. But I can't say yes to watching Sword Art Online. So I'm usually conflicted. And I go, you know what? No. But no. Maybe yes. Same time, no. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, who knows? <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's get back to Daddy's home because we're kind of going away from it a little bit. Yeah, still got like about ten minutes left. Oh yeah, that's true. He says stuff about like um forty five minutes. Yeah, usually uh, one of our podcasts uh, ranges from around forty five to an hour. But I like to keep it yeah. within that range because then people would be a little bit more interested. Yeah, same. Because I have like art stuff to do, and it's just like, uh, oh, it's people fine. are gonna be mad at me. So, whatever you are, just don't want to go over the limit. All right, um, I'm gonna okay. make this quick. Uh, we started watching Daddy's Home. It was a really funny film. Uh, there were a few jokes in there, like. <laughs> 
there was a there was a part where uh will ferrell the dad yeah. he he met his dad and they got a little bit you know a little bit of a connection going a little bit of a strong bond if you may and uh in the in the airport do you know what happens do you, have you seen any of the uh, trailers no all right i'm scared all right so basically they got a little bit of a strong bond and they uh they they uh the first time they met they uh they kind of smooched a little bit <laughs> okay alert <laughs> yeah they've done it i've counted this five times during the entire movie five okay um what else can i say i'm not saying I'm just saying. I thought it was a comedy. <laughs> it is a comedy. Gay people smooching is, is, is funny. That's what Hollywood thinks. <laughs> Hollywood's pissing me off right now. It's pissing everyone off. There was this one uh, yeah. article, or fake article, where, um, you know, about the whole Kevin Spacey thing, you know. Uh, yeah. There was one article that almost got me. I was like, um, uh, teenage hollywood star accuses tom hanks of being nice and i literally thought it was like oh god they accused tom hanks of doing something bad that this can't be possible the world is gonna end but then i was like oh they accused him of being nice okay it's cool <laughs> like you say you don't need in politics but i'm just gonna say this real quick i'm just pissed off at hollywood for right now just like get over yourselves you're not all that great yeah, now YouTube is the new Hollywood, and it, it fucking pisses me off, too. Same. Um, Hollywood. Yeah, let me... Listen to us, Hollywood. We don't like your shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get back to Daddy's Home. All right, so, John Cena was in the movie, too. He was in the movie for a few scenes. He uh, sang, which was very surprising to me. Uh, Mark Wahlberg was in the movie, too. He was fucking hot. Um, he, he flexed a lot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what else can I say? You have a girlfriend, man. Yeah, but I'm allowed to say these things as a joke. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? Um, there was a girl in there. He, she shot her uh, grandfather, but didn't kill her. Um, he, what else? What else? Um, <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm having a heart attack right now. Uh, no, I'm not having a heart attack. I hope not. At the end of the movie, at the end of, at the end of the movie, uh, Mark Wahlberg and his dad uh, they smooched as well, and that was like I was not expecting that. That was from like a mile away, but uh, yeah, the movie was itself was pretty good. I'll have to check it out. I mean, it was rated R, wasn't it? No, I think it was uh, PG thirteen. Oh. Well, I can't really see if I'm a radar because I'm only 17 and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> That's the one benefit of being older. <laughs> I mean, my friend can see it, but I can't because I'm one year less than <laughs> I can, I have the benefit. My ability is I can see R-rated movies, but your ability is that you can drive a car. So that's, that's a fair trade-off. I can drive a car and kill myself if I want to. <laughs> I also live by myself, so that's a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah, that's true. Is uh is living by yourself really hard? I'm asking from a <laughs> I'm asking from like a perspective of a dude who's almost out of the house basically. Is this living uh, by yourself hard? <laughs> um Well, you already have what it is like to have a job. It's exactly like an adult life. So Semi hard, but you have the freedom to do whatever you want with no parents holding you back. So it's part good, part bad. Oh damn, that's pretty. Well, in my case, it may be good. <laughs> it may be bad too. I may be spending a little bit too much money on figures, and I'll probably get calls from like my mom every month, like, "Wow, why am I getting? Why am I getting receipts <laughs> about?" Uh, <laughs> Super Sonico figurine. I would just be like, oh, "Mom, I don't know what that is." <laughs> this is the hardest I have laughed in weeks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For real. But, um, yeah. 
Um, you, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. No parents holding you back. But um, at the same time, you have a, adult responsibilities, and yeah, like that. You need to save up our money because I'm saving up. Um, I was saving up to get a um house, but since I plans have changed, and apparently I'm moving to Los Angeles. Um, you know, with those big dogs, which I don't like them. So fuck you. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. You got like. I school myself. Proper grammar be a good job. You school yourself. You is good. <laughs> Friendship good. <laughs> like dear Celestia. Friendship good. <laughs> yeah, just the, yeah, you just send like some Spike, sort of like Spike, you had one job. One job. <laughs> <laughs> My phone is so cracked. Mine too. <laughs> I have a screen protector, but guess what? The screen protector is cracked, so. No, my screen isn't cracked. Um, My back's cracked. Not, not my actual back. I'm talking about like, the phone back, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, it's horrible. Mm. Um, What else can I talk about my week? Uh, I had... I had a, a concert that I went to. It was. It was. Uh, oh. It was good. It it was good. I mean, we played a lot of Christmas songs because that was the theme. Um, of course, we didn't won, but yeah, who cares? I would have voted for if I was there, or however that works. I never been to one of those things. I mean, I've been to concerts, just like. Yeah, well, usually how it works here is the uh, the audience. Like, so basically they uh, they vote by like uh, how loud the audience yell, basically. Oh, they're down loud. I would probably yell so loud, Jesus could hear me. <laughs> oh, that's really that's that's sweet. Thank you. I would. You're a nice person. Thank you. I blend my hair blends zip my hair blends in with my mattress. No, not mattress, but quilt. Does it? You wait, Mister. Your your quilt is basically rainbow colored. Yes, in matches. Ooh, it's cool. Throws it. Throws my white blanket on top of my face. Now you can't see me. Well, Bula, there's a white blanket on your rainbow mattress. <laughs> well, I can't see you from the begin. I can't see you from the beginning because like. Because you don't have the webcam. We don't have it on voice call. We have it on actual call. Shit, five more minutes. Okay, so what do you want to talk about next? Um, well, we could talk about what you have going on. Oh, I that's going to be like about like 30 seconds long. All right. Animating, work, school, family issues. That is all. And scene. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's wrap it up by basically saying what I have, and then we can wrap it up, and you can uh, you can uh, pull yourself or not pull yourself. You can plug yourself. That's what I want to say. Well, how do I do that? You basically plug your Twitter, your YouTube, if you have anything or any extra links. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so basically, um, I have a video that's going to come out. It's going to be the Cuphead video, and I am going to be working on another Necopara video, which should be pretty good. You play Minecraft, right? Uh, I do on a friend's account, but I don't play. I don't want to play it for my channel because I, I am not that desperate yet. <laughs> if I was going to say, if you do, we can make a Minecraft video together, but whatever. It's okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, yeah that could be cool. Um, I have I have basically a break glass in case of emergency uh, box right next to me, and I just break it, and there's a pickaxe in there. So if if anything, that will be my last resort for this channel. <laughs> for real? <laughs> I want to be there when that happens. <laughs> there's just alarms going off, like the buildings on fire and everything. I a room unexpected. Oh hi, Keith. Oh shit, he jumped out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, you gotta burn the files. All right. Code red, code red, burn the evidence and run. 
Uh, all right, so let's end the podcast here. It's been 40 minutes. That should be a very healthy podcast. Uh, not a lot to edit. No, you're wrong. No way, it is 40. <laughs> yeah, see? I know, I know. I have my facts. You have the facts. <laughs> yeah, I got the facts. The, the, yeah. the car facts. Show me the car facts. You guys have that too. I hate those commercials. We have that commercial, but we only have one uh, Carfax agency here in Aruba, and it's oh. not being used that much. Oh. Yeah, here oh. In, here in Aruba, uh, not a lot of American like st- type stuff, except for food, uh, fast food chains, get used a lot. Uh, it's usually the Dutch system, so yeah. Well, where I come from, I. Carfax is used cars, right? Yeah. Well, I have an act- not an actual used car. I have one of the nicest cars. Not time to brag, but I'm going to be super, super serious. I have one of the nicest cars in the United States. Oh, that's pretty it's good. a uh, 2014 Dodge Challenger. Ooh, that's that's really good. Congratulations. Now, let me check up a, let me check up a picture of that. It's so black, can... and that's racist. It's not racist at all. No, it's not racist, as long as it's a car. <laughs> it's like you pick a uh, you pick some uh, color of a car for dodgeball. It's like I picked black. It's like that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you have a Dutch charger, right? Dodge. Dodge. Uh, do- <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> it's okay. Oh wait, a Dodge Challenger. Yes. Yes. Oh shit. Okay. That. Car. It's a Chevrolet. Brand. Yeah, that car. Ooh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. Beulah, it's about that time. Wait, I need to oh. my chain or whatever. What? You have to do that chain thing where I'll say my links. Oh, yeah. You can go ahead and do that. Okay. Follow me on Twitter. It's um at BeulahArrow5. I have also a Facebook, a private one. Um, It's just Beulah Bell Bonnet, which is my... Um, I'm sure he'll put it, um, whatever. Just be a bell on it. And I, my YouTube channel is Arrow 742, which is Arrow 742. Shit, I fucked up. That's it. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Oh, no. Don't kill yourself. Goodbye, sweet prince. I did fall off my bed. Yay! You, f- you fell off your bed? Yeah. For special effects. Did anyone hear that? Or did you did not Did you guys hear that? Or no? No, I didn't did pick I up. That up. It didn't pick up. Oh, shit. I'm on the floor for nothing. Nice. You fucking... Yeah, that's what I want in my life, to be on the floor for nothing. <laughs> well, guys, we've made it to the end of the podcast. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, I like cornflakes. Yes, you like licking cornflakes off the floor. Beulah, thank you for being my guest on this week's podcast. You're welcome. Maybe next time I can be one of those, too. Another one. Fuck. Oh yeah, I'd totally love to have you like but with all my friends. But then it would be a little bit harder to actually uh keep track of who's saying what. So Yeah. Why must you live so far so, away? Thank you guys. I know. I hate it. Bye guys. Bye. Music outro now. No, it's time to raise our sails It's freedom like you never knew Any bags, or a pass Say the word, I'll be there in a flash You could say my hat is off to you Oh, we can zoom all the way to the moon From this great wide wacky world Jump with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah It's time to jump up in the air Jump up, don't be scared Just jump up and your cares will soar away And if the dark clouds start to swirl Don't fear, don't shout out to your clouds I'll be your one-up girl So let's all jump up super high High up in the sky There's no power up like dancing You know that you're my superstar No one else can take me
starts a new romance A new world's calling out to you Take a turn off the path Find a new audition to the cast You know that any captain needs a crew Superstar, no one else can make it this far. But come through that stash now. You've got the national. Let's do the Odyssey. It's time to jump up in the air. Jump up, don't be scared. Jump up in your cares, no soul. Never see.